See me see Naruto. EA Sports is proud to present PGA Tour coverage. Golf Channel on NBC and EA Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today it's live final round coverage of the California Classic. Now we go down to the first hole. Rich, what a great position to be in. Three days of great golf. The lead, you know it. Exchange of cards on the first tee, ready to go. Three, four hours in front of you, and you don't quite know the outcome. That's why we play this game. And this is where the pressure begins to heighten because all of the attention is focused squarely on you. With the lead, television cameras on you, fans on you. Can you handle it? We'll see. Up with the big boys now, Frank. Well, we saw that previous tee shot go 310. This one's further. Getting set to play the second shot here at the first hole. Good swing, good shot yet again. That is classy. Not a chance of going in. This hole's been good to him. Birdie yesterday, and trying for another one today. Oh, great start. Frank, this is a nice looking hole. Not long, only 371 yards, but challenging in its own way. It is challenging. Uh, the best approach here really is a conservative tee shot to set up an aggressive second. Oh, it's fine. Frank, going back 100 years or more, we used to see winning scores in stroke play tournaments, 72 hole events of 300 thereabouts, but obviously like so many things in golf, uh, everything has improved. Yeah, you people would scoff at sort of saying 475s would win a US Open um, or a British Open. It, it, it didn't, and it does. Um, but, you know, with equipment, and, and people have really got into the game, they've worked it out, and they're just, they're just playing got better at it. They, they realize that, uh, you know, stroke play, you, you can't just you know, swing from the trees, so to speak. You've really got to work your way around and get better. Um, you just can't sort of settle for mediocrity. Has it for another birdie. Two holes, two birdies. Frank, 100 yards longer than the second hole. The third, 471 yards. What do you think of this hole? Good. Oh, he's winding this one up. Does he have the power, though? Really powering up here. Frank, I know you like boxing. That was some heavyweight power right there. Smoked it. He has put himself in an excellent position with a beautiful tee shot. And now a good look at the green. Yay. This hole really sets up well for the player. Birdie yesterday, and a chance for another one today. Frank going for another birdie here. Just to get on a real roll. Makes it right in the center. For those of you just tuning in, we're checking in now on our featured golfer here at the fourth. As we check in on this early final round action, we join our featured golfer off to a hot start. Yeah, some great golf. Um, I really like the way they've been playing right now. 
certainly playing aggressive golf, and that's getting rewarded today too. If there's a little bit of uh, timidity at the top there, then there's this great opportunity that's going to open up, especially over those closing few holes. That is an excellent play right there. The approach giving him another good look. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Right off the edge. Well, just a fraction softer than it might have, might have just turned in. Nudge this one home, finish it up. Did the job right there. Well, here we are at the fifth hole, a 535-yard par five for the long-hitting professionals. Frank, certainly not a long test. What is the challenge here on this hole? It's another example of great design by Pete Dye. He'll give you the trouble on the left on the tee shot, and then he moves the trouble to the right on the second shot. It's going to get you one way or the other. Yeah. Well, this one's sweet, Frank. Super. Oh, this looks good. Certainly is. Players bracing against these strong, gusty winds. Really a challenge out there. Playing a full 180 yards now. Frankie appears to be in control of his game in the early going. I like what I'm seeing out there, doing all the basic things at a very, very high level. Getting the ball in play, that helps set up the next shot. Next shot gets on the green, that's how it sets up the birdie putt. It's one thing leading to another. Not a gimme, but well within his range. What a tremendous display of golf this has been. Certainly throwing an eagle against the field, so we've seen it all. Birdies, eagles, just blitzing the field from start to finish. Frank, a long par three here at the sixth, 255 yards. Club selection obviously is crucial. Yeah, and length is, uh, is very important here. Something that, that can fly high and land soft is obviously going to make that green play a little bit bigger. If you get a breeze off the right or left to right into, this hole becomes very challenging. Has it? Maybe wet. Wow, lucky break right there, Frank. Well, that's what everyone else is going to say, except him. Second shot. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Frank, if you want to play this game at the highest level, and no doubt our players do, you have to sort of be tactical. Will you break down shots or break down a hole? How would you break down this hole in a very smart way? Yeah, I know what you're getting at there. A lot of people would think 350 yards, you could bash a driver down there and you'd finish up in trouble. Well, the way to be aggressive on a strategic hole is to just put the first one in play in a position where you can attack with the second. And there's no shame in that. You can still walk off here more days than often than not with a three. Frank, our featured player, a bit wobbly of late. This is an important approach shot. It is. Time to just hit the brakes, do a little reset. Things aren't completely lost yet. Start to get back to that positive frame of mind. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. We just saw a player in total control of what he's doing. Didn't miss a green in regulation all day long. Just a couple of feet. Continues to amaze yet another birdie, and what a day it's been. 555 yard par five eighth hole. Frank, is this a two shotter or a three shotter? Uh, good question, Rich. It starts to shrink down by the walkway, which is around that 330 yard mark. Uh, that's the decision has to be made. Personally, I think you try it at first, because even if you do find a fairway bunker, then it is certainly a layup. If you've got the distance, uh, it's well worth the risk. He just blasted that one down the fairway. Out there about 325 yards. 
This could be a huge momentum swing here, Frank. Yeah, one more good swing, and he's going to have an eagle putt coming up. I know you don't want to get ahead of yourself, but it is well on the cards. Frank, that is how it's done. Yeah, take a gross of those. That is a lesson in itself. And now a chance for Eagle. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. Oh, dude, that, that's an Eagle. Frank, the ninth hole at 452 yards. That water down the right is really a test of a player's driving ability, isn't it? It is, and his ability to sort of take the shot on. Ideally, just something with a little bit of a fade, unless you can carry the ball 300 yards, then you can get it just past that bunker. But when you look at this hole, notice how that fairway just starts to open up. So Pete Dye will reward an aggressive tee shot, but also he'll punish it if it's wayward. Frank, break down this second shot here at the ninth hole. The second shot's a little bit like the tee shot. We know that there's the biggest trouble is on the right with the water, but there's also a bunker between water and green. So Pete Dye's enticing you to try and play the correct shot, which is one that just moves a little left to right towards the flag. And there is a little bit of relief. If you just miss it a touch, you're in the sand, not the water. Good putt. Well, that was a nearly flawless performance on the front side, but Frank, we know it's an 18-hole game, isn't it? That's right. Now's not the time to pat yourself on the back. Oh, if this is up, it's good. In the fairway here at the 10th, nice way to start off the back nine. Frank, again, this would appear to be a pretty good scoring opportunity. <laughs> this is so much about getting the distance right here. Uh, bunkers on the left, there's the water to carry, that's uh, needless to say, but also the mounding that's just behind the screen and to the right. Um, it's very easy to just take the trouble out of, uh, out of play in the front and then find the trouble behind the screen. So uh, second shot. Judging the distance, imperative here. Oh, can't hide the flag stick from that man. This would be a huge momentum swing. This one's for birdie. So the dominant performance continues. Yeah, we're watching two tournaments right now, the one at the top and the rest. Frank, how about this hole, the par 5 11th? Long one. Oh, it is. And, you know, anything over 600 yards, only the longest it is, the Bubba Watsons, the Dustin Johnsons of the world. The other ones that can get home on a hole like this. For the other ones, even those bunkers down the left side are sort of in play. You at least have to give them a cursory look off the tee. Uh, nothing wrong with a hole at the par five that you can't reach. You still play it as a three-shotter. And in some respects, you get rewarded for laying up here because that water that comes in on the left-hand side, that's not going to be in play. From a perfect position, Ready to play his next shot. This is just a superb performance. Great round to this point, Frank, and you can really see that reflected in his mood today. Yeah, it just looks too easy. Uh, swinging the club beautifully. Ball's going exactly where he, where he wants it to. He's not trying to take too many risks. So consequently, he's getting birdie opportunity after birdie opportunity. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace, might have a chance. Oh, I thought he had that. So a long putt there and just didn't read it quite right. That one drops, what a birdie. Frank P. Dye always gets a player thinking what might be going through a player's mind right here. 
you're going to play it as a lap. You know, that's a given. It's just what distance you want. And, and for every distance you're going to hit it off the tee, Pete Dye gives you a different challenge. If you lay it all the way back, obviously you've got the widest fairway. Then you've got the longer second shot. Get a little closer, it starts to shrink up, shrink up, shrink up. So it's how much do you want to bite off? But this could be really good, Frank. Oh, straight at it. Frank, that ball's sitting up like it's on plush carpeting. Rich, if you and I had lies like that every time, we'd still be playing this game for a living. Club has been pulled, ready for the second shot now at the par 4 12th. This is a good looking shot. Early part of this back nine and a good approach shot. Now we'll have this for birdie. This hole's been good to him. Birdie yesterday and trying for another one today. You want to know the difference between good scores and average scores? That, right there. Getting set now over the putt. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Now teeing off here at the par 3, 13th. Stuck the follow through right there. This could be really good. No problems there. Really good approach shot. And now, good look at 30. Makes it sneaky distance. Just has the field today. Now another short par four. It's only 389 yards. But Frank, where could a player go off course, so to speak, at this 14th? Well, this is a hole where you have to play your own game. Um, if you're a longer hitter, I think you can challenge that bunker and knock it over there. And if you're shorter, shorter play, you should be only looking at that left side. Um, you're always going to feel like you've left something out here on a hole like this. You always think you could have done the old other option. But, but this is where you've got to stick to what you think is your game plan. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. <laughs> Terrific golf shot. And now, that for an easy birdie. Wait to write those on the card. One below par. Chalk it up. It's a birdie. Now to the par four. 15 hole, 468 yards. Frank, what do you like about number 15? The variation of the bunkering here, Rich, I think is excellent. The bunker that meanders its way down the right side tends to go to the right, and then you start to see those two bunkers down the left side. You've really got to try and take that second one on the left out of play. That requires something in excess of 280 yards. From there on in, you've got a chance. Frank, the 15th is called turning home. Time now to turn on the Jets and a good chance. Yeah, after a good drive, once again, height's going to be rewarded here with the second shot. See the way that green is protected by the bunkers. So if you can come in here really high, get that to land soft, there's a lot of flags on this green that you can go at. You know, a solid strike right in the heart of the green. How'd you like that strike? Uh, that was top of the tree. 
Birdie try again here today. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Par 5 16th is a slight dog leg left at 600 yards. Now the par 5 16th dog leg and it's at 600 yards. So a little bit of an advantage to the big bomber, Frank. Yeah, they can almost uh, take a big chunk out of this hole by going down the left side. If you can take that bunker out of play and that's a big hit to get past that. And all of a sudden, you know, shortest point between uh, two places is a straight line. You've really reduced this hole into something closer to 570 yards. And now the second shot here at this par five. Just a gutsy shot right there, and a good look at Eagle coming up. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Just seems an absolute waste. Got to take your time. Just a little tap in here. That's how you keep a round going, make them from that distance. Well, there it is. They call it Alcatraz. Just sitting out there on the water, 168 yards away, Frank. Well, speaking of water, that water looks so peaceful, doesn't it? It'd be a shame to spoil it with a splash. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. And what a great shot. Right next to the hole, it's about five feet. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Continues to amaze yet another birdie, and what a day it's been. One great hole after another here at PGA West, the finishing hole, no exception. Frank, what can we expect here? Great finishing hole. Uh, it's amazing. If you took the three bunkers that we're first going to see down the right side, this would almost be a nothing hole. But because they're perfectly situated here, they really shrink up that driving area down the left side. And this is just a reward for uh, a great swing, a great strike, a great shot. Frank, one last critical approach shot. You're at 18. Well, if we see someone left of this flag that's not in the water, they've pulled their second shot. This is definitely not going down the fairway. It doesn't look good. I think it's going to be in the deep rough. Pretty good result right there, considering it looked rough all the way. Exactly. It really did. Really use this one. It's for birdie. Down it. That's a birdie. That has to feel so good. A big championship victory. Team Naruto, over and out.